everyone, this is Tammy at Walnut Creek Bath Boutique and today I am making solid bubble baths. These are what I made yesterday. This is rosemary mint and it's very, I, I can't even explain it. It is just so great. I love it. The pink is blackberry and magnolia. It is lovely. I really, I really, really like it. It's a very soft, just soothing, lovely scent. So scent descriptions are not my my strong suit. Today I am going to be making high tide. This is a very clean oceany type of scent. I really really like it. This is the first time I've used this formulation. I did purchase this formulation from Zahida May. She's handmade in Florida so I will link her information in the description box. I have trouble with with some of my bath bombs and bubble baths. Everybody was raving about this, so I did. I, I purchased it, and I really, really, really don't regret it. It is, a, it is a good, solid formulation. She worked really hard on it. So what I was wanting to do was make donuts, and these are my donuts. Not that that looks anything like a donut. It is as flat as can be. I'm so disappointed. My donut mold that I bought, if you look at the back, it looks like it would make a decent donut. It, it is just so flat. Now, my second time I did this, I did press the mixture into the mold a little bit differently and, and firmer maybe. And I do have a bit of a hump, but it's still not the donut I was looking for. What I'm gonna have to do is, and it's also a little smaller, they're not quite an ounce, like 0. 0.65 to 0. 0.8 is pretty much the range that they are not quite an ounce. So I'm going to sandwich them together and maybe come up with like a bubble icing to go in the middle to hold it together. And I think that'll give me a good two ounce, which I think is pretty decent for a bath. And then it will look a little bit more like a donut maybe. Not that donuts have icing in the middle of them, but I don't know what else to do. I am going to decorate the tops of them to make them pretty. I'll bring you back for that. And then my scoops they're a little too big. <laughs> I mean, they're they're fine, but they're they're kind of misshapen. They're a little too big. The this one is very wonky looking. What I what I wanted to do is use this pail. Is it is just the cutest cutest little pail. It's got this little key that you actually open and get your products out of there. I just thought it was so cute, and I've had it for a couple years. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. I was going to put the donuts in here, but they're just too small and they would hit the sides and probably break up and they wouldn't ship well. These would fit perfectly, but they won't fit through the opening. So they're a little too big. I was like, dang it. So I think I'm going to break these up and make a powder out of them. And then I'm going to make another batch of this, not color it, split it into three, my three cents. And then I can do like pink, white, pink, white, pink, white, and make like a parfait. I think that might be what I do. We'll see. I don't know yet. But this is yesterday's. I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side. And so we can get on to today's. So this, I've already measured out all of my powder ingredients. And there's baking soda, cornstarch, cream of tartar, and SLSA in here. And the SLSA is very, very airborne. So I will have to mask when I first start mixing this. So I won't be talking during that portion. Even the baking soda, I have to usually put a mask on. Uh, it, it irritates me too much. They, But the S SLSA is a very gentle surfactant. It is coconut derived, super, super gentle. I really love it. It's just when it's in the dry form, I, I will have to mask up. So I have all of that ready. And then in here, I have cocoa butter, and who doesn't love cocoa butter? I have uh, cocoa betaine, which is another very gentle surfactant made derived from coconuts. And I have a little bit of glycerin in here as well. And then this in uh, cup here is my polysorbate 80 and my fragrance. My polysorbate 80, what that does for both bath bombs and bubble baths, anything that you're in the tub with, it is an emulsifier. So what you wanna to try to do is, is keep the cocoa butter from making slick spots or any of these oils from making slick spots in your tub so you don't slip and fall and you know, hurt yourself. 
So that's what the uh, polysorbate 80 does. It also mixes in any sort of mica that you might be using to keep that ring from around the tub forming. So in here is my poly 80 and my uh, fragrance. And I am going to color this before I add it to this. And I am using blue number one for this. This is a very, very potent bath bomb colorant. And when I say potent, this whole batch, I'm just gonna maybe use about that much. I don't know, can you see that? I'm just, I put my stir rod in here, dipped it in, shook it off a little bit, and that's my colorant. Too small to measure. So you can see how blue that's becoming. I'm just gonna stir this in. All right, I think all the colorants off my stir rod. So now I'm gonna pour it in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna probably speed this video up and I'll have my mask on and I'm going to incorporate the liquid into the dry. I'm safe to take my mask off because it's mostly wet and there's not a lot of airborne stuff happening right now. So I'm just going to stir this in really, really well and then I'll get my hands in there. All right, so now we're going to bring our tray over start forming. So I'm going to just take a little bit, smooth it out a little bit, and start, start forming it. Don't worry, I'm going to smooth that down. <laughs> you can even see from, from your angle, it's pretty rough looking right now. start trimming these. They do expand a little bit and I do want them to be as flat as I can get them, especially since I'm stacking them. Definitely my cocoa butter was a little, uh, a little um, cold or cooled off a little bit because this is much drier. You can see. <sighs> I thought about not even scooping this, but just in case I come up with a different plan, I want all the recipe to be the same. Goodness. 
where I have my little, my little crumb cups. And I'm gonna give these one more smooth down maybe, one more little pat. All right, guys. I'm gonna let these sit for a couple hours and see what see what happens. We'll be back. Uh, iced they are not hard hard but they're they're definitely solid they may still harden up it's only been maybe maybe an hour and a half so I'm gonna get my icing ready so that's what this is so in here is cocoa butter and the polysorbate 80 and then let's I'm gonna go ahead and put the SLSA it's very powdery and I don't have my mask on. It looks good enough to eat. <laughs> oh my, it looks just like icing. Okay, let me see if I can figure this one out. Makes it cute. I do a couple of these at a time. Hopefully, I have enough of this. This is not. I could make up another batch real quick if I run out.
So there you go. Hey everyone, I'm back. I just thought I would come on here and show you how I finished packaging all of my solid bubble bath. And I think they turned out really cute. I, I think they're adorable. Uh, they don't look like donuts, but uh, I like the sprinkles. I like the icing that's on them. And I think they turned out really cute. Uh, I found that I had a bunch of these uh, cupcake wrappers and I just, I found coordinating colors. I, I bought these a couple years ago. I don't know why. For down here in the soap room, I don't remember why I bought them. But they turned, you know, isn't that cute? I love the pink polka dot ones. So, like, here's minty rosemary. And I found some coordinating ribbon to go with them. And my high tide. I love the smell of high tide. And then blackberry magnolia. And then I, I put a sticker with the instructions and, you know, directions and, and ingredients and everything. So they're all ready to go. You know, I, they're on this tray. I just brought them back down from uh, taking them upstairs. I like to take my pictures with the, um, the deck with the natural lighting if I can. So that's why they're kind of on this tray. And then I have my crumbles that I talked about. And I was able to get one can of each crumble, each scent. And so you've got your you know, green, white, green, white, and then the minty rosemary. These things are hefty. This is at least 13 ounces. I think, I can't remember which one. Most of them are 13 and a half. I need to clean up the inside of that. And I got the, everything. I only made one of each. I only had enough since they're so humongous. And they, you know, I'm gonna have to charge quite a bit for these, and so I don't imagine that they'll sell super quick. But, um, you know, there's a lot of bubble bath in this thing. That's that's gonna be a lot of bubble bath, so. I only made one of each. So with my leftover, I found these packs, and uh, I, I bought these from Claire Labels, and they were much smaller than I, had anticipated. I did not know what in the world I was going to do with them. So I, I found a little, I'm just going to make little sample packs. I think I'll, I won't, I, I'll, I will either give them away as samples or I will sell them as, as a sample for just a dollar or two each. Try to recoup some of my cost in this. Um, but I thought they were really cute. I, I think, I thought, you know, that's, I'm kind of glad I made the mistake of buying that uh, package too small because they're just adorable. Uh, so yeah, that's my solid bubble bath for now. I'm going to continue to work on this. I want to improve my game in it. I'm going to start making some bath bombs uh, probably next week. So I may, you know, do a video of my bath bomb making. But uh, yeah, solid bubble baths. Huh, they're done. <laughs> it was like a week and a half of work on these things. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.